In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to go in and insert a comment into a Google document. Uh, ways that we've seen this used in our school district and with students and teachers has been as a student has typed up a document or they've you know, created some kind of essay or they've done something inside of a word processing program, um, a teacher, a student, a peer can go in and provide edits or provide uh, comments to make edits on that particular document. So you can highlight sections of the document and provide a comment and provide information and feedback to that particular person that's created um, the document. So as a user wanting to make comments on the document, um, there's a couple different ways that I can do this. I'm going to walk you through those ways, how you can insert the comment in the document. So what you're looking at now is a Google Doc that's been created. If you need information on creating a Google document, please see the TOSU video site. Uh, there is a video on there specifically designed to show you how to create a Google Doc. So once the document has been created and you're inside of your Google Doc, um, you want to go in and make a comment. So to make a comment, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the area in which you're trying to comment on. So in this case, if I wanted to change or tell that person that the date needs to be changed from January 17th, 2004 to maybe January 18th, 2004, what I'm going to do is highlight the area in which I'm trying to make the comment on. So I highlight the area where, I've, where I want to make the comment, and there are multiple ways to do this. The first way that you can make a comment is go up here to Insert and choose Comment. And when you do that, you type in the comment that you want to make. And you hit Comment. And as you'll see now, this comment lives out here in the margin. And if I click on that particular highlighted piece, then it'll, it, it kind of flashes over here and makes this highlighted here. So I can tell if there's multiple comments on the document, um, which highlight goes with which comment. So if I want to, as another example, insert another comment, if I select, again, the part that I want to make the comment on, and I can go up to Insert, and choose comment or the other way or another way to do this is to use this shortcut icon depending on your screen and the view that you have on your screen you may have a shortcut icon there that allows you to insert a comment from the shortcut so I'm going to click that particular way this time and I can put in the comment And when I do that, I'm going to click comment. And now you'll see if I click on that particular um, highlighted piece, this one's kind of moved to the forefront. If I choose this highlighted comment, that one toggles to the forefront. One of the great things about comments are is it doesn't just stop with the initial comment. As a person that is now receiving the comments, so I go into my paper and I've seen there have been comments made, I can go in and reply back to those comments. Now in this example, I would, reply, I would be replying back to myself, but understand if I'm the viewer of the document and I see that people have made comments on my document, I could type that in and take care of that. So I may go back in here in this case and let's change that to 18 and I may just say done. Now obviously, like I said before, it's gonna show that the same person is making the comments and that can be helpful too, but know that most of the time, if you have somebody reviewing the document, you got one person's name here, one person's name there. Once that's done, I can just hit resolve and it kind of throws that comment up here in the top so that I know that I still need to take care of this one, but the rest have been taken care of. If I choose the comments box up here, I can see a thread of comments that have been made throughout my document. So that's just one way to go in and make a comment on a document. There are other ways to do that as well, but I want to show you the most basic and simple way first. Um, hopefully you can use this in your classroom. Again, think teacher review, but think is also student review and peer review. If you have a mobile device and you've downloaded the apps that go along with Google Docs um, inside of your mobile device, the comment feature is available as well. So you could be commenting and inserting comments from, from your application on your mobile device, and it will serve the same function and will work the same way. It will be a living comment inside of this uh, particular document. So um, that ends this video here. Should you have any questions or any comments that you need to, uh, to ask about regarding the comment feature, don't hesitate to contact us at the, uh, at the TOSA email inside of Bay District Schools. Thank you.